by winds. Allah swears in the beginning of Surah Al-Mursalat by, by the creation of Allah, winds. Al-Mursal, Al-Mursala is used actually in Arabic for that which has been released. It was used for horses. You were, you, you know, the, the word Urf, which is, well, Mursalati Urfa is the ayah. Urf in Arabic is the back, you know, the, the horse on the back of its head, its neck, there's this hair. And if you don't have ropes for a horse, what's the only thing you can grab onto to slow it down? It's that hair. Allah Azza wa Jal gives the image of winds as though they are like a horse, a wild horse, who has been unleashed because its hair has been let go. What happens to a horse, a wild horse, when you let go of its hair? It goes crazy. Marches forward, doesn't care where it's going, full speed ahead. So the, what's being paralleled is the image of a, a wild horse with winds. Meaning winds that Allah is telling the Quraysh first of all that winds are not something that blow randomly this way or that way. This soft breeze you feel on your face is because the rains are being held. By who? By Allah Azza wa Jal. But it is very possible for that same Lord to let go of that lock of hair and what's gonna happen? They're going to turn into this wild horse, the stallion that's gonna breeze through, crush through. Wal mursalati urfa, the first one, the wild horse that has been released, like, like released, the winds. The second, fal asifat, asf in Arabic is to move in an inconsiderate fashion, okay? Like a truck that doesn't have brakes, just crushes everything in its path, a bulldozer nowadays. What the movement of the bulldozer is asf, inconsiderate, doesn't care what's in its way, it's gonna go anyway. Wal asifati asfa, these winds, Allah continues the oath, these same winds that have been un unleashed, now they've become inconsiderate, merciless. They don't care what comes in the way, they just go. In two ayat, Allah has described winds as a source of destruction. 